Hi, welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 3. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 11 of Book 3. If we have two triangles, one inside the other, and we have the center of the circle, smaller circle, being G, and the center of the larger circle being F, if we draw a line between the two centers of the circle and extend it out, it will reach the lines at the point where the two circles intersect. In other words, it will cross through the point A. So we connect G and F, draw the line further out, and it connects at the point A. We're going to demonstrate that this must be true by assuming that it's not and coming out with some sort of weird contradictions. So proof by contradiction. So let's assume that the center of the inner circle, G, is located at this point. And we will draw our line from F to G and extend it outward. So now we have our line crossing the circles at point D and H. Now because we're dealing with the centers of the circles, AG is equal to GD because it is the center of this inner circle, and AF is equal to FH because F is the center of this outer circle. So we have the right eye of our circles being extended out where it's here. Looking at this little triangle, AGF, the sum of two sides of the triangle is always larger than the third, according to Proposition 20 of Book 1. So AG plus GF is greater than AF. So far, so good. Now we have that AG plus GF is greater than FH because AF is equal to FH because they are the radii of the larger circle. Let's subtract GF from both sides of this inequality. And we have AG is greater than FH minus GF. And what is FH minus GF? FH minus this little gray bit gives us GH. So we have that AG is greater than GH. Now AG is equal to GD. AG is equal to GD because they are the radii of the inner circle or the smaller circle. So we have GD is greater than GH. But if we look at this line, GD cannot be, pos cannot be greater than GH. In actual fact, GD is less than GH. So here we have our inconsistency. We have GD is greater than GH and GD is less than GH. And there is our contradiction. And having achieved this contradiction, we have thus demonstrated that F and G, if we draw the lines, cannot cross circles in uh, two points, but instead must always cross where the two circles touch, thus having demonstrated this proposition. And that concludes this video presentation. To see the next presentation, just click the next button.